All right, so tell me a little bit what you like about Tariq Woolen. Tariq, first, the guy is 6'4". We haven't seen a corner that big since maybe Richard Sherman drafted in the fifth round. One pick away from the exact same spot Richard Sherman was drafted at. Another similarity, the guy played wide receiver. So what does that do for a DB? It allows him to recognize route combinations quickly. He knows that if the number two receiver runs an out, number one is going to field or is going to cross his face. So being familiar with what receivers like to do is going to help this young man out. Well, might hurt him. He's only played 16 games at the position, so he's still new to that spot. But then that can help him as well because now he's not tainted, right? Everything a coach says to him, he's going to take it to heart and he's going to execute. When you run a 4-2-6, nobody's going to run by you in this league. You can be late flipping your hips on a go. You could get caught up on a double move you have the speed to recover. So I love that he's long. I love that he's 6'4", he ran a 4'2", and he played receiver. All these things are gonna help this guy be successful and contribute to the Seahawks. Do I see him as a day one starter? No, I think he comes along slowly, plays special teams, and helps out there. Schematically, how big of an adjustment will it be for him from his college defense to the current Seahawks defense? Not really. At the corner spot, you don't really worry about too much adjustments. There's only so many things you can do. Cover one, two, three, or four with some variations in there. So with a guy like Tariq, I expect we're going to play a bit more zone than we have in the past couple years, even some man. But he knows if I have cover three or cover four, no one gets behind me. If I have cover two, I jump on anything in front of me. If I'm manned up, my eyes are on the hips and I'm locked in. So a lot of the changes we're going to see on this defense really go to that defensive lineman that linebacker group and even the strong safety and safeties these corners are just going to play football you mentioned it a bit earlier but what about expectations for this season expectation for this dude is just to develop like i mentioned 16 games he's played at this position come over here get to know carl scott get to know Desai, get to know pete carroll who's a defensive guy and be a sponge and just keep learning you can make big plays right now as a rookie who hasn't played a lot on special teams get on that kick return team get on that kickoff team that pump return and just make your presence felt there if he can make an impression on special teams then he can start working his way on the football field when the defense is out there all right you got the lakers hat so we got to talk a little bit about what you like about kobe bryant kobe right first off i love his name and i love that he spelled it differently c-o-b-y to kind of so he has his own legacy but first thing that stands out about this guy is that he's always around the football and he's comfortable with the football in the air. Typically we see DBs and safeties, when that ball's in the air, they seem to panic a little bit and they're just going for the, the pass breakup. This guy only had two interceptions last year, but his body control and positioning is what stands out to me. He doesn't get fooled too much and he's nice and strong. He's 6'1", 195, not the biggest corner, but not the smallest corner. Physical enough to get his hands on you. And like I said, when the football is in the air, he's comfortable, he attacks it. He played a cross from Sauce Gardner in college. What sort of adjustments will he have to make not having uh, a guy like Gardner on the other side? Well, you got Sauce on one side, Kobe on one side. Let's not forget, Kobe was a Jim Thorpe Award winner. It's not like um, he's not a good football player out there, but when you have Sauce Gardner over there whose measurables probably are a bit better than yours, you're going to be the one tested. So all that means is he's got experience, he's got a lot of reps, guys are testing him, and he's okay with the spotlight on him. You know going into a game when you have a potential number one or first round pick on one side, guys are going to go after you and you got to own that and feel, feel comfortable in your own skin. So I think reps, he's got a lot of reps. Unlike Tariq, we talked about Tariq gonna having 16 starts. I mean, this guy's been a starter for years and he played across from the best corner, one of the best corners in the country. So. He's got a lot of football thrown his way. And what about expectations? What can fans expect from Kobe Bryant this season? Kobe, he is a very smart football player. He is extremely physical. I think those two attributes are going to give him a chance to play right now. You still got Cindy Jones, still got Trey Brown over there, um, but you need some depth. You need guys to rotate, you need guys to push each other. So I think this is a guy that you see sporadically weeks one, two, or three, unless he just has an awesome camp and just takes somebody's spot. But we're not really banking on that. You know, Sidney Jones has been here for a little bit. He knows the system. So he's going to have to compete. But we will see this young man on the football field. I think the further we get into the season, the more he gets acclimated, the more we're going to see him. But defensive players always have the advantage of playing special teams first. Us offensive guys really don't like to hit and tackle anybody. We want the football in our hands. On defense, they do a bit of everything. So unless Sidney Jones just doesn't have a great camp, or Kobe comes in and just shows that this is my spot. I see him being worked in slowly, and by weeks four and five, I think he's out there.